What is Denia all about? Let's find out! Great place to live, a great place to work, and a great place to come on holiday as well. I'm English and very single. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The questions are about social security and income tax. This is really, really fun. <laughs> there's no need for me to go to Florida anymore because there's everything here. How did it all come about? In 1997 the marina was founded and the main idea was just to make a small port with just one or two buildings but in the end they realized that we needed many more facilities so that's why we built a, a bigger marina with all the services for our clients also because we're very close to the Balearic Islands. Do you have facilities for all sides of boats here? Well, we have uh, the smallest moorings, which are 12 meter boats, and the largest moorings are for 50 to 60 meter. And we have lots of different restaurants. The variety here is yeah, huge. Quite international, and every restaurant has a different range. A bit of everything, really. Lots of nautical companies as well. Yes, they're here especially to service all the boats. This marina has 400 moorings. But about Denia, what a young person like you can do here? Especially if you speak your languages, it's quite easy to find a job because you've got many foreign people living here. You've got the beaches, you've got many sports activities, you've got the mountain. So I'll show you one of the, the pontoons, um, which we have fingerprint recognition. Well, it's quite a secure system. This is one of the pontoons where we have our moorings with the boats. And let me stop you right there. Mooring. Explain for those who have no idea what that is. A mooring is just a parking space for a boat. All right. And depending on the so size, that would be... this is one mooring exactly, okay. with its electricity and water meter. Captain Don Gabriel Martinez. He has a, a good vision for the future and he has a lot of experience. There is a lot of more of, of people that come here to Denia. They enjoy the vacations here in Denia and we think that will go up. We just want people to be happy at Marina Denia and give them all the services we can. Show me Denia, please. Well, this all is Denia. The marina is here. And then this is Denia. Here we have the castle, and this is the main street and the old town, and here are the beaches. I was a bit bored in Germany and so I just decided to go to a different place and I found Denia. <laughs> now I open up this salon and mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. I stay. It's a nice town, nice people, nice weather. I do like perms, I do colors, highlights, cutting men, women, children. This is the electric heated hair cut scissor. It seals the ends and the hair is not going to dry out and keep them healthier. So my dad is also working here. He's doing the medical pedicure. I love to help people who have problems mm -hmm. and uh, I learned this and I have a lot of experience over 30 years. And you play in a band as well? 
Yes, I do. I'm the drummer of the OK Band, and we do a lot of charities. Here's the big German community, and then we can meet in bars, and uh, there's a lot of live music. We meet a bunch of people, English people, German people, Swiss people, and it's fun. OK, great. Hello Natalia, how are you? Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We're here since five years mm -hmm. and we are a used car dealer for our international customers. Mm -hmm. We have all different kinds of cars, all brands. We trade in cars from our customers. We help finding or searching a car. And uh, well, within the last five years, we had more than uh, 1,500 cars here. Uh, buying and selling cars is not as easy than in other countries. So the heard. paperwork, the law, and I know from a lot of customers, they made very bad experience in the past with uh, whatever, car dealers, private sellers. So we care for everything and make sure that it's a safe deal. I was working 20 years for BMW and I learned my business in Germany and I just do the same here. And this is our indoor showroom. Here we have all, you know, the more valuable cars, the convertibles, which we like to show with the open roof. Uh, we have own mechanics, we test all the cars, we make the maintenance. We have only cars with guaranteed kilometers. We work with Carfax, which is a system uh, we can check through the chassis number the history of the car. We see the number of owners, we see the real mileage, because we had a lot of customers, they came to us and asked for trade in their old car and we couldn't take it because the mileage was much higher than they thought. I was always working a lot of time in Germany, I never was at home, so we decided to uh, create a family here, mm -hmm. and the kids went to school, and uh, university and everything, and yeah, so we're here then more than 15 years already. Is Denia a good place to live? It's a beautiful place to live. Denia has a very special yeah, atmosphere. Uh, not about only the climate, but it's very international. We have here all different nations. You have a lot of possibilities for your spare time. You're close to the sea, sailing, uh, the mountains. You have adventure parks here, close in Benidorm. We are in between Valencia and, and Alicante, in the very middle. So it's easy to reach two airports to get international flights. There are two very interesting cities, uh, cities with a big culture. There's no need for me to go to Florida anymore because there's everything here. When you come here for retirement, it's very easy because you will find uh, people from your nation everywhere. But they don't adjust very easy when they have to work here in Spain because it's a different world. You cannot start a business here and think it works like at home. They're coming the tax office, the town hall, the license things. You have to inform yourself very good and you have uh, to have a lot of endurance. I was born in Pakistan and basically we moved to Denmark when I was a child. My family and the children, they were, they were born there. And what do you like about Denia? In the beginning I, w I was kind of, you know, upset. It was a small town, but you know, for a while I felt it, it's a beautiful place. And we have a lot of tourists. This year we have more than 50,000 people came to Denia. People who come here, they always have fun okay. in Denia. We have some very good pastas, uh, salads, and 27 different pizzas. Next door we have a Turkish kebab that is one of the best known in Denia. So where is the passion for food coming from? Did you do it before? Uh, yes, I have had a restaurant in Denmark. We have our third business. We work with the MoneyGram, Uria, and MoneyTrans, three different companies. We transfer and receive the money from all over the world and we send. As you can see out there, this is the central bus station. All three shops are front of the bus stops. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Mark, 
Mark, Philip, tell us what you're doing here. The primary reason for being here is to offer the expat community a facility to buy high-end quality items. We are Costa Blanca's premier antique shop and auction house. Primarily, we're a consignment store and we also offer the confidential service for dependents of deceased estates and we find that's a, a core part of our business. Obviously, being able to trade and sell on the items at the market value. We provide that in this store and during online auctions. And also we sell on three different websites. We hold auctions approximately every two months. Today we have an auction at four o'clock. Uh, we have over 450 lots. Uh, one of the star lots being a Picasso painting. We also have three Dali paintings and some other really, really good items. What are the prices for the items that you have? We offer a whole cross-section. Items, for example, from a euro to high-end articles, such as the Picasso here, that we're expecting to get about 30,000 for today. Between us, I think we've been involved in the business over 25 years. Yeah. My family was in it, so I sort of grew up in it. Myself and Mark met about five or six years ago here on the Costa Blanca doing what we do, going to the rastros, going to the antique shops, bumping into each other and finding out we were competition. So we merged ourselves together. Great. Yeah. My wife is Spanish. Um, she's from Madrid but has lived in Denia most of her life. We met in Dublin, Ireland and uh, moved back over to Denia and we've been here since. So you're Irish, you're English. I'm English and very single. <laughs> <laughs>
did you start this business? We opened MK Toldos in 2011. We have international clients and we offer free estimate. We come to your house, measure and give you the offer. explicar por favor cuál es la población de Denia. En Denia actualmente somos eh, sobre 42.000 habitantes. ¿Y cuántas nacionalidades tienes? Ahora mismo 97 nacionalidades diferentes y representan un 22% del total de los habitantes de Denia. ¿Y qué nacionalidad es la mayoría? La mayoría es eh, alemanes. Alemanes eh, de Reino Unido Mucha gente que viene eh, por el clima a pasar temporadas en invierno. Países nórdicos, alemanes, ingleses, en las que pasan aquí pues, temporadas que no es en verano, sino a lo largo del año, pues por el clima sobre todo. Aparte del tiempo, eh, atractivos tenemos la playa, tenemos 20 kilómetros de playa, 5 de roca hacia el sur y unos 15-16 kilómetros de arena, todo de arena hacia el norte. Aparte tenemos mucha cultura, tenemos el castillo, tenemos museos, tenemos una gastronomía muy importante, por eso somos ciudad creativa de la UNESCO en, en gastronomía. ¿Y tienes el eh, departamento especial por extranjeros? Sí, tenemos un departamento de extranjeros donde hay una persona que habla varios idiomas. Adiós. Gracias. Gracias. We have been here in holidays last year and we love the place. Why don't we go to Spain, build up something new here. Winter is cold in Switzerland and we came here, we were looking for a house and then we found this place. On these tracks it's possible to play 18 on 18 holes. And you have people of all ages coming here? Yeah, we have children from a part five years up to older people, 70, 75, it's fun for everybody from young to old. And it's a good exercise for concentration, hand-eye coordination and passion. The most important thing is to have fun, to be outside, to meet other people. I started to play competitions and training, meeting people since, since 30 years I'm playing mini golf. Temperatures are great in the winter, it's warm. In summer you have really warm temperatures, the sea is closed. It's a fantastic place to live. Tell me a little bit about your restaurant. We've been open since 2005. We're now one of the longest running restaurants in the marina. Christmas is over, so we need to take the decorations down. We do a menu of the day, which we try to use seasonal fruit and vegetables at a very reasonable price, hence the reason why we're usually so busy. It's a beautiful day today, in the middle of January, and yet we've had 18 degrees, people on our terrace, people inside. What more could you want? Latitude is in Marina de Denia. What we are going to do now, we are going to enjoy jet ski on the other side of the port 
en Marina El Portet. Alvaro, what are you doing? We have different brands. Uh, we have Dile Yamaha, we have rental with the jet skis, we do tours, jet ski, quad, kayaks, bikes, a lot of things. This is fun. <laughs> and you have been here for 15 years? Yes, we start with the quads and now we follow with more activities. We do buggies, tours in Las Rotas with the kayaks, jet skis, it's fantastic. But you are from Valencia. Yes. Why did you move to Denia? I like it. It's fantastic. You have the sea, the mountains. What do you want more? Nice food. <laughs> this is for the jet ski. Explain to me how this works, please. Okay, this is the key for the jet ski. Okay, okay we connect here. Uh -huh. This is the start, stop, and gas. gas. It's very easy. Uh -huh. And you have here the brake and reverse. Uh -huh. This is really, really fun. You put the bell, let's go. Woo! Veronica, what is Bona Plaza? Bona Plaza is a family restaurant. We have been here more than 50 years. We have a large selection of Mediterranean food. You're German. What are you doing here in Denia? I came here when I was 12 years old with my parents because of work. They had better chances to work here and to open a restaurant. And I had to go here to school and join Spanish people. We do have some German dishes, but normally we have everything international from steaks to fish. We are specialized in Flammkuchen. It's very thin, so it's kind of a pizza, but on a German way. And light, very light. <laughs> yes. I'm the waitress here, my mom is in the kitchen, and my dad used to be here behind the bar um, serving, serving drinks and also serving food if he needs to help him. Life in Germany is a bit more stressed because everyone goes his way, like all straight ahead. Over here it's more cozy. <laughs> Sandra, tell me, how did you get to Denia? My parents come to Denia when I was a child, so I live here 30 years. Okay, and then what is the passion for dentistry coming from? It's a family <laughs> tradition. <laughs> but you're not a dentist? No, I'm not a dentist. I'm only the owner. I like my job. What do you offer here? We offer all treatments from child to old persons, from implants, prosthetic and normal treatments all around what needs to be done. How are you different than other clinics? We have uh, an own laboratory and that's why the prosthetic treatments go a little bit quickly. When the people is here on holiday, we can make a quick treatment. Radio is uh, the biggest English radio station in Spain and we've been broadcasting for the last 12 years and um, we've been growing bigger and bigger every year. We now broadcast all the way from Denia all the way down to Cartagena along the Mediterranean coast. We've got an amazing range of DJs and presenters and a great team behind us and um, producing some of the you know the best radio around here really. Um, our demographic is for ages 45 plus 
and we found that that's really, really working for us. We work with some of the biggest brands who advertise with Bay Radio and use us to, you know, to get their message out there. Where is the future of Bay Radio? I've got some great plans for Bay Radio for this year. I just wanted to get bigger and better. We're going to be expanding even further. I can't give you many details at the moment, but we're going to be getting bigger and expanding our coverage area um, throughout Spain. And you have been here for how many years? Um, I started here in 2005, the first day that Bay Radio started. And why is Denia a place to live and visit? Uh, Denia is brilliant. I mean, it's a great place to live, a great place to work, and a great place to come on holiday as well. It's got everything. It's got great restaurants. It's got great nightlife, great shops, and it's also got a little bit, you know, culture as well. It's got um, amazing churches, the castle as well to visit, and lots of different things if you're into sports and hiking and different things. Denia's got everything. It's brilliant. What have we got here in winter time? We still have fantastic weather. We, uh, the roads are quieter, which is nice. Um, but there's still lots of lovely things to do and lots of sports and, and things to do, restaurants to go to, and, and still a great vibe during the winter as well as the summer months. What is it that is so special about this place? Irish theater? Yes, it's an Irish pub, it's a gin club. We have all type of gins, we have a load of type of uh, different beers, international beers. And then we have live music every weekend, Friday and Saturday. We have karaoke on, on Thursdays too, which is fun, it's really good fun. We have events too, we have uh, suppers, we have dinners, we prepare all type of celebrations or whatever you really need, it's are really you, nice. Are you open all year long? Yes. So even though you are Spanish, you have this amazing British accent, how come? <laughs> well, uh, I was born in Denia, but uh, my parents are English. My dad came from Birmingham when he was 14 years old, he started living in Benidorm, and then he came over to Denia. So I was really born here, I spoke Spanish at school and with my friends, and then at home I always spoke in English, so that's why my English accent. And you could practice with the British people here, right? Yes, yes. With all the British, with the Dutch too, we speak in English with them, yeah. Tell us about those candles, it's beautiful, eh? what's yes, happening? Yes, these candles are because today is La Nid de la Yum, which means the night of the light, and it's all all night, it's really nice, all in the centre of Denia. What is Dorian Gray? Dorian Gray is a night icon in Denia. And we are in the centre of Denia, just next door to the town hall. So you party with the mayor? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dígame un poco sobre Picaetas. Picaetes, gastrobar, es mi sueño. ¿Por qué? El gastrobar significa comida de autor. Comida tradicional con un toque moderno o inventada por mí. ¿Qué ofreces? Ofrezco producto fresco, carne de ávila, dulces, galleta americana, unos troncos de navidad, un poquito de tarta francesa, Y el tipo de clé francés. ¿Tú eres romana? Soy de Rumanía, nacida en Rumanía. ¿Y por qué estás en Denia? Pues vinimos de vacaciones y nos hemos quedado aquí. Aquí es como una familia. Tenemos el restaurante en Denia, situado al final de la carretera de las Rotas, que estamos en un entorno natural precioso, con unas vistas muy bonitas. El restaurante nos dedicamos sobre todo a arroces y fideuás y variantes, y luego pescado fresco de aquí de Denia, algo de carne y postres. Todos los portes caseros los hacemos nosotros en la casa. Claudio, how come you are here from Argentina? This place very sunny. I like the people. 
uh, that live here and also I think it's a good place to offer the Argentine food because we are the, the unique here in Denia. Margarita, she's my partner. Yeah. Uh, it's the best. We use for the Parrillada Argentina a different kind of meat. We select this meat from Avila. It's 100% organic meat. Vegetarians, do they have Yeah, to we have pizza. We have the Parrillada, vegetarian Parrillada. Okay, there are different kind of vegetables, all in making barbecue. Right? We hope you enjoyed the film and to discover other towns and people of the Costa Blanca, tune in to our website at apnaucostablanca.com.